Welcome to Big Vlad Gaming. Today we're going to try some Oxygen Not Included. This is a game that I played uh, years ago in, when it was in early access. It's since been released and uh, a DLC has been released. It, it was released a while ago, so I'm kind of late to the party here. I've never played the DLC. I stopped playing uh, just before it got out of early access, I think. Um, I think I'm going to play on No Sweat. There should still be uh, some challenge, hopefully, but I don't want to go on survival because I, I don't want to... I want this to be more chill experience. I don't want to be stressed out. I'm going to do Spaced Out. That's the DLC. Uh, let's see. World Traits. Survival Chance. Ideal. I like that. Starting, that's our starting asteroid, nearby asteroids. So I guess we can build rockets and go to different asteroids and they have these different traits. Uh, we can re-roll. Geodes, I like that. We're going to have frozen worlds. Uh, okay, alright. Radioactive satellites. Contains a frozen friend from a long time ago. Sounds good. Now, this is a colony sim type of game. You're building a colony on an asteroid. And when I played, it was just one asteroid. Uh, but now I think we can expand to multiple asteroids. Uh, let's see here. We can choose our duplicates. I don't want increased bladder. He's just going to pee all over the place. Husband G, construction. Agriculture, strength. Okay, sure, why not? Science is good to start with. Uh, machinery is pretty good to start with. Uh, I think you need machinery for uh, power generation to start. I'm gonna name it Big Vlad World Embark. And so here we are. We start with three duplicates. Alert. The asteroid we call home has collided with an anomalous planet, decimating our colony. Rebuilding it is of the utmost importance. I detected a new cluster of material-rich planetoids in nearby space. If I can guide the duplicates through the perils of space travel, we can build a colony even bigger and better than before. Alright. So I'm going to pause it with spacebar and have a look around. So this is our asteroid and it goes out a bit. I guess that's as far out as we can go. Uh, we can go to the left quite a ways and above. Okay. Um, now in this game, there's some, uh, a little bit of uh, physics simulation going on. It's not too deep, but um, you can see each of these tiles has a temperature and a uh, specific uh, mass, 581 kilograms, 23.9 degrees. Uh, so basically uh, there is heat uh, distribution, there is gas distribution, and all of the gases have different weights and densities and all of that. So. Uh, I think carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so generally, if we dig up here, carbon dioxide will float down to the bottom below the oxygen. Stuff like that. So there's things like that that we're going to have to worry about. Uh, up here, we have a temperature overlay. And we can see to the right, we've got... Uh, these blocks are like 44 degrees, 44 
up here is like ice, I guess. Minus 20, holy cow. Yeah, there's probably ice up there. Snow? I saw snow. Yeah, ice. Okay. So we're going to be dealing with, um, you know, entropy a little bit. Things are going to even out. Temperatures are going to try to even out. And it's not going to be a big deal early on, I think. But uh, it will become an issue later. Now let's start digging. So we just um, assign... Basically the way this game works is we assign jobs to everyone and they just go do whatever. You don't control them manually. Now, I like to have my rooms four high. And I'm going to copy this. Oh, we can't we can't assign it um, new constructions yet because we don't have materials. I got to deconstruct this first. And we got warnings up here. No oxygen oxygen generator built. No outhouse built. Yeah, the um, oxygen generator, we can wait on that a little bit because we have oxygen coming from the oxalite here. And that's, gonna, that's not going to last too long. But we don't need an oxygen generator yet. However, the outhouse uh, we will need soon because otherwise the duplicants, these guys are called duplicants, They'll just pee everywhere. And that causes problems. Now, let me see how I want to plan this. Um, I want to have my floor here be 16 wide. So we got 1, 2, 7, 8. We'll go 4 more in each direction. And we'll keep digging to the left. To the left, we'll put our outhouse. And all of that. And we will get more duplicates from the printing pod. Every once in a while. I think every few days, we'll have the option of um, printing more duplicates. Duplicant skills. Yeah, and they can level up their skills and we can choose uh, new abilities here. Don't need to do that right now. All right, let me pause it. Let's make, go to our base category here, make a ladder. Um, the way I like to organize this is I build a room and then a space and then a ladder and then a space and then another room. I always have, we're going to have like modules or segments and the segments will be separated by these ladders that'll just go up and down. The, the entire base. This is how I did it in beta and it worked pretty well. This is how I'm going to do it here because duplicates will be needing to travel all around the base. So they got to have an easy way to get all around. So these ladders are going to help them get where they need. All right, let's look at plumbing. First new building we need is an outhouse. Let's select that for construction. And I will build ladders going up and down. Uh, we have this resources section over here that shows how many of each resource we have available. This is what's on the ground. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it includes what's on the ground or not. 
our ration box yeah our ration box just contains uh, food. Okay, muckroot four uh, four kilograms, nutrient bar twenty kilos. So yeah, this resource is up here. That's everything that's on the ground. We've got a bunch of overlays we can look at here real quick. Oxygen overlay. So we got oxygen. Uh, no oxygen here. Yeah, very breathable, breathable, barely, and unbreathable. Uh, we got power overlays. We're not generating power. Temperature, materials. Lights, no lights. Plumbing, yeah, a lot of these are not used right now. Uh, but we'll check them out later. And as you would expect, you can set priorities up here. Job priorities, which I don't need to mess with yet. Uh, same with schedules. Right now their default schedule is basically work all day and sleep at night and I think for the first night they will be sleeping on the floor because we're not going to have beds built. And it's sort of like Dwarf Fortress uh, games like that where they will get mood debuffs if they have to sleep on the floor or if they spend too much time in uh, in water and they get soaked or if they um, or you know if they're in an environment that's not comfortable for them and you can see there sometimes they're holding their breath when they're up there that's because there's very little oxygen up there so they find it hard to breathe now I don't want to destroy this oxalite I'm going to build a bedroom up here, but I don't want to destroy the oxalite because if I destroy it, it's not going to give me as much oxygen than it would if I just let it dissipate. Now, if we look at... Hold on, let me pause it. Um... Can I make a wash basin? That's what I need. Ah, shoot. You know what? I should have built the outhouse here, not here. Okay, I'm going to rebuild it. And I'm going to build the wash basin here. Oh, they got no jobs. Okay, um... start clearing out this area and get a ladder system set up. Go do that. Alright, for now I'm going to set the speed to medium speed. Get this done a little faster. Okay, he's done. Now I'm going to de uh, deconstruct this outhouse, which uh, is kind of slow. Let's make our way down here a little bit. Uh, we can harvest these. We can uproot these bristle blo blossoms. These will grow. Uh, not not these uh, mealwood these will grow food like larva basically grows on these things and we can eat them they don't like to eat them they get I think unhappy thoughts if they eat them but it's better than nothing all right I'm gonna build my wash basin here and the reason I want the wash basin here is because when they're done using the outhouse they can pass by to the right past the wash basin and uh, use it on the way out. Otherwise, if I put the wash basin on the left side, when they're done using the outhouse, they might not uh, use the wash basin. Unless it's on the way to their next job. 
So it, it's safer to have it have the wash basins on the exit of your uh, your restroom. Uh, fetching water. I'm gonna need this water. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm just sort of planning out my my rooms here. Uh, we do need access to water pretty soon, and we'll be making use of this water here. Now they're taking a break eating, and I think they'll sleep soon. Uh, let's set up cots. Let's see. I have one here and here. Is this 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's eight. Okay. So I'm going to do something like... Okay, we can do five. I'm going to get rid of these right now because I don't want to destroy that oxalite. But I have a kind of a specific uh, bedroom setup I want to do. Let's speed that up. Hopefully tomorrow they can sleep in a nice, comfortable bed. We'll work on getting all of this mined out. And they're decontaminating the outhouse. Yeah, this guy's holding his breath. He'll be fine. But after a while, he's going to have to come back up like that. He'll have to come back up for oxygen. Alright, we're going to need more outhouses. Two is good. All right, let's get some doors in here. If your room is has doors and is completely sealed, it'll be considered a room and we'll get some bonuses for that. So it's uh, good to do that. Okay, all of the carbon dioxide is going to get collected down here. Alright, let's see. Let's look at plumbing. We're going to need access to this water pretty soon. I'm trying to to rotate this. I don't know if I can. Uh, let me check options real quick. Okay, I couldn't find a way to rotate. Um, 
Not that I really need to with this, but... What we're gonna do... Okay, I'm gonna deconstruct that. We got a hatch. We can, uh, attack these and use them for food. Attribute increase. These duplicates attributes have been, have improved. Ruby. Excavation skill level modifier raised to one. Nice. Good job. All right. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all of this crap. There's so much crap here we gotta dig out. You guys talking about ladders? Oh. You want a ladder over here? Well, they've got cots to sleep in now. All right, our oxalite has run out, so we need oxygen generation. Let's look at the oxygen tab. Um, we want, I think an oxygen diffuser converts algae into oxygen. Becomes idle when the area reaches maximum pressure capacity. I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Okay, now it does take power. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I wanted four spaces between levels. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna... We'll get rid of that later. Uh, actually, I gotta get rid of it now. Because I'm gonna use this... level here. That's okay. It'll just look weird. Now, how about this? Is this considered a room, or do I need to put tiles all the way around it? Let's go to the room overlay. Yeah, so it's considered a barracks. And they get a plus one morale bonus, and it shows the requirements, the room requirements. Uh, no industrial machinery, one or more beds, and it has to be a certain size. Okay, so that's good. We're going to get a morale bonus there. And this does need power. We're going to have to start with uh, power generation, and we do that with manual generators. Now, where do I want to put this? I'm going to need a battery as well. Battery. Manual generator. Okay, and wires. Wires cost copper ore, which we've been digging up. And the wire is pretty intuitive, just click and drag. All right. Oh, 
Okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna dig this out down here. And then we're gonna fill it with water. Now the power, I am gonna have to... Bring it down like that. All right, there we go. We got oxygen being produced and we have printables available. Yeah, so every few days or I don't think it's every day, every few days we'll have printables available. We click choose a blueprint and yeah, we can get any one of these. These are uh, care packages that'll help us out if we need it. Plus eight piloting. Well, you're not going to be very useful right now. You don't seem very useful. Uh, the problem with getting more duplicates right now is... They're going to require more food and oxygen. I, I think I'm going to skip this one. I either want the snazzy suit or the care package. Uh, this will increase decor and a small area of effect around the wear can be upgraded to Primo Garb at the closing clothing refashionator. I'm gonna try the snazzy suit. I never, never tried that before. Can I assign it to someone? Ruby, take it. Hey, you look good. All right. Uh, let's wall this up. We're gonna need to wall it up because we are. Filling it with water. Oh, wait a minute. Might not work. I need a pitcher pump. Yeah, I think I screwed up. That's fine. We're going to put the pitcher pump there. Basically, we're going to move the... We're going to move this floor down by one. What are you doing? Eating? I should probably build another outhouse. Yeah, so you can set the, um, uh, set the direction. So select for the wash basin. Select to make duplicates wash when passing by from right to left. Okay, this is what I want. I only want them to use the basin, the wash basin, when they're passing from left to right. So they don't have to use it when they're going to the restroom, but when they're coming out, I want them to use it. Of course, they're not going to use it now because they need water. Uh, let's... See if we can... Get this working. Uh, we're going to have to deconstruct this, unfortunately. We'll rebuild it.
There we go. Rebuild the oxygen diffuser. Let's uh, deconstruct that wire. All right, there we go. We just need to break that wall and watch the water come in. Do I want to do it now? Oh boy, I'm scared. We'll build these uh, floors first. And uh, get rid of all of that crap. Alright, well. No time like the present. Let's breach that wall. And they're going to be a little bit um, upset <laughs> about working in the water. But they can work in the water. So. If they have to, they will. Alright, let's, um. Let's get a roof for this thing. Oh, no, 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 no. This has to be four high. I want a nice, spacious barracks for my duplicates. You doing okay there, buddy? He's hungry, he's sopping wet, he's low on oxygen. Uh, I think because we're on the easier difficulty, uh, stress won't be a big problem see if he uses the wash basin. He does. Okay, that's going to reduce germs. Let's look at food. I think we do need a micro musher. How much power does that take? 240? Why is that blinking? Is that only when the power is being used? Oh, okay. Uh, you are going right there. Now I have to think about where I want to set up a farm. Oh, you don't have access to up here, do you? Oh, we want the research station. Yeah, we got to build that. So we can get new technologies. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. There we go. Oops, we had some falling debris. This means it's entombed, so this cot is not usable if we have uh, falling debris there. And 
this outhouse is almost filled up. They have to empty it. And there's like dirty water. Germy, dirty, disgusting uh, water or uh, dirt that has to be emptied out of there. So we need a place to empty the dirty water. Let's put our ladder down here. We can harvest this. Enable auto harvest for the mealwood. It's disgusting, but it's, uh, you know, better than nothing. All right, let's uh, select a research. Oh, God. Wow, we have so many options. Okay, decor to help with stress. Computers, we don't need that right now. Uh, gases for pumping gases, maybe soon, but we don't have to worry about that for now. Liquid pipes, that will help, yes. I think liquid pipes is what we want. Water cooler for stress. Crafting station. Power. The jumbo batteries are good. And um, more wire options. Wire bridges are great. Uh, more food options is great as well. That's for farming. Uh... Probably the farming one first. Yeah, this is what we want. Compost reduces polluted dirt and other com compostables down into dirt. Yeah, we're going to have the polluted dirt from the outhouse. So we want that one. We'll select that. And I think somebody will go and research. Yeah, somebody's working. Okay, so... That's oxygen not included. We got to keep our colony alive. Uh, research new technologies. Make sure the the uh, make sure we don't freeze to death or we don't fry. There's gonna be some volcanoes too, I think. Yeah, there's one, a geyser emitting polluted water at minus ten Celsius. Uh, these are actually... This actually might be useful. The polluted water is... Uh, not that great, I think, but it emits it at minus 10 degrees. And that could be useful for cooling down our base if things get too hot, if we generate too much heat. Because um, duplicates generate a lot of heat as well as they work. So that could become an issue later on. So yeah, finding ways to uh, dissipate heat and um, all of that become very useful. Uh, we need to find good heat insulators. Of course, vacuums make the best heat insulators. And uh, just got to keep everyone alive. And I think we can... Oh, we got this icon here. Or duplicate skills. Somebody leveled up. Yeah, that was Max. Okay, so now we can choose one of these uh, to specialize in. And we can choose more as time goes on. Improve carrying, tinkering, medicine compounding, tidying. Uh, I think tidying is just for uh, moving material. Moving items around. He can probably carry more. And maybe do it faster. Oh, that's... Okay, that's different from carrying. Tidying is just cleaning. Okay, who has the highest... Tinkering? Oh, 
Oh, machinery, right? Machinery five, machinery zero, machinery zero. I think I want machinery. Uh, this is operating uh, power generators and so on. Yeah, this will make him more efficient at it. I'll take that. All right, well, I think we're off to a good start. We'll see what happens from here. We got chlorine, hydrogen. All of these gases are useful in their own ways, and they can all hurt your colony in some ways. Um, so it's all about, you know, finding a good way to deal with all of these elements and materials and turning everything into something useful oxygen uh, and all of that so yep we'll continue with this game i think i'm enjoying it so far